Hey everybody out there in YouTube land, this is Jonathan from Top Tools and Science. We're here to do a quick review and unboxing of the Blue Yeti. That's a new microphone that I got to do voiceovers on YouTube. Uh, this side of the box is basically just giving you the full specs of what's, what each button does. And this side just tells you what each switch uh, on the back does. For cardio, um, stereo, and stuff like that. Here's the top. It says Yeti. It has a little character instead of a MacBook. And there's the bottom, upside down. And if you notice, the video is kind of tilted this first time I used the tripod and uh, failed. It didn't work. There you go, it's just showing you the system requirements. Mac, you can work with a Mac or PC. And there's the Blue Yeti. Sorry, as I said, this is the first time I used a tripod and I'm not really used to using it, so I apologize for any long pauses or me trying to uh, fix this. Trying to open up the top. Let's zoom out. Okay, got out of the box. Has a little insert. Uh, usually, you just take the styrofoam right out of the box. But this one actually has a second box in it. There you go, you have the USB, the mini USB. Uh, one plugged into your computer and then one plugged into the bottom of the Yeti. The mini US, USB, of course, plugs into the Yeti. I don't know how long that uh, the cord is, but it's pretty long. Uh, there's the instructions, if anybody ever reads them. Um, it's uh, mostly plug and play. Um, I've heard other people having problems with it, but I haven't had any. Um, most people that have problems were on the PC, so if you have a PC, you might have problems, but uh, as of now, with the Mac, I have not had a problem. Um, later, after I get this thing unboxed and go to the back settings, I'll start using the mic for the re remainder of the video. I was just having a hard time trying to take this thing out. <laughs> and if you didn't know, this thing's at least is pretty heavy. For a little microphone. Actually, it's pretty huge, but for a microphone anyway. There's the star bone. And the other piece. So whenever it comes out of the box, it's actually upside down, and it's a stand. Some people complain about it not having shock mounts, but I've been messing around with it and I haven't had any problems. Uh, when you first get it, the screws are pretty loose, so you'll probably want to tighten those up um, as soon as you have it stand in upright position. And get it to where it's kind of stiff because it's it's a heavy mic. If once you get it off center, if the screws aren't tight, they'll just fall over. Not out of the mount, but it'll just rock back. That right there in the front is the volume for your uh, headphones. Here's my little light that I'm using. It's actually. A light and USB charger for your iPhone. Alright, here on the bottom you have your mini USB, uh, two screws, a um, mount for a uh, mic stand, and a headphone jack. 
I thought this uh, mic stand was for one of those professional plugs, but that is only for the pro version and it will go on the other side of the metal part. The other hole, so there'll be two holes on that, that one insert. Here's a closer uh, thing at the mute button and the volume. I've heard on other reviews that these blends are pretty plasticky and they are, they feel very cheap. But for the price I paid, I think I've paid uh, for this and it's pretty good. And here are the different settings, the game, and the different settings for uh, the microphone. It's on courtyard right now, which is basically you speak straight into the mic. Okay, this is stereo, which you can go left and you can go right. Now go to different ears. Now the next one is omnidirectional, which is good for conferences anywhere in the room. You'll sound the same. The next one, which is a heart shape is cordioid, and that would be speaking directly in front of the microphone. And the last one, which is more of a figure eight, is bi directional, which basically is good for uh, interviews. You can some have somebody talking in the front, somebody talking in the back, but mostly for voiceovers and doing YouTube, you do cordioid. I'm going to switch back to that now. Okay, now I'm back in cardioid. Um, I was just showing uh, the gain. You kind of want to keep that um, no more than straight up and down like 12 o'clock or lower because uh, past 12 o'clock it gets really sensitive and it can maybe distort. Uh, right now I have mine maybe about um, 11 o'clock. I'm just trying to give a as you can see my light sources, I have a flashlight and a little flashlight which is a USB charger. <laughs> anyway, that's my lighting setup that I have right now. Uh, but as it stands, it's a it's a nice mic, I like it. Here's a quick uh, 360 of the Blue Yeti. I did some tests with it and I like it overall but the four different modes on the back I'm probably using cardioid the most as most people would use when they're doing voiceovers um, if I ever have a interview situation I would use the bi-directional okay what I'm going to show here is that you're supposed to be speaking in the front of this microphone not the top and a lot of YouTube videos they have their setup where they speak from the top but it's mainly meant to be spoken from from the front Overall, I think I give the Blue Yeti two thumbs up. So, what do you think? Could you tell the difference between the beginning of the video where I was using my iMac 24 inch built-in mic to now where I'm using the Yeti? Is it a big difference? Was it worth the buy? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Please thumbs up this video, subscribe, if you like what you saw, please tell your friends, share the video, I greatly appreciate it. Okay, I'll see you on the next video, and I'll talk to you later.